The S60 platform, formerly Series 60 user interface, is a software platform for smartphones that runs on top of the Symbian operating system. It was created by Nokia based on the Perl user interface from Symbian Limited. It was introduced at Comdex in November 2001 and first shipped with the Nokia 7650 smartphone. The platform has since seen five updated editions. Series 60 was renamed to S60 in November 2005. In 2008, the Symbian Foundation was formed to consolidate all the assets of different Symbian platforms S60, UIQ, MOAP, making it open source. In 2009, based on the code base of S60, the first iteration of the platform since the creation of Symbian Foundation was launched as S60 5th edition, or Symbian 1, on top of Symbian OS 9.4 as its base. Subsequent iterations were named Symbian Squared Japanese market only and Symbian Cubed. The S60 software is a multivendor standard for smartphones that supports application development in Java MIDP, C++, Python and Adobe Flash. Its API was called Avcon UI. S60 consists of a suite of libraries and standard applications, such as Telephony, Personal Information Manager PIM tools, and Helix-based multimedia players. It was intended to power fully featured modern phones with large color screens, which are commonly known as smartphones. Originally, the most distinguishing feature of S60 phones was that they allowed users to install new applications after purchase. Unlike a standard desktop platform, however, the built-in apps are rarely upgraded by the vendor beyond bug fixes. New features are only added to phones while they are being developed rather than after public release. Certain buttons are standardized, such as a menu key, a four-way joystick or D-pad, left and right soft keys and a clear key. S60 was mainly used by Nokia but they also licensed it to a few other manufacturers, including Lenovo, LG Electronics, Panasonic, Samsung, Sendo, Siemens Mobile, Sony Ericsson, Solstis and Virtu. Sony Ericsson notably was the main vendor using the competing UIQ Symbian interface. In addition to the manufacturers the community includes Software integration companies such as Saskin, Electrobit, Teleka, Digia, Mobica, Atelier.tm Semiconductor companies Texas Instruments, ST Microelectronics, Broadcom, Sony, Freescale Semiconductor, Samsung Electronics, Operators such as Vodafone and Orange who develop and provide S60-based mobile applications and services Software developers and independent software vendors ISVs. Additions There have been four major releases of S60, Series 60, 2001, Series 60 Second Edition, 2002, S60 Third Edition, 2005, and S60 Fifth Edition, 2008. Each release had an updated version called Feature Pack, sometimes known as Relay. Each runs on a different Symbian version. Version 0.9 was the original and first shipped with Nokia 7650. 
Version 1.2 marketed as Feature Pack 1 first shipped with Nokia 3600 3650 in 2003. Topic: <laughs> Versions and supported devices. Many devices are capable of running the S60 software platform with the Symbian OS. Devices ranging from the early Nokia 7650 running S60 v0.9 on Symbian OS v6.1, to the latest Samsung i8910 Omnia HD running S60 v5.0 on Symbian OS v9.4. In Symbian Cubed the version of the revised platform is v5.2. The table lists devices carrying each version of S60 as well as the Symbian OS version on what it is based. Note that new devices since Symbian Cubed may be capable of upgrading to later systems, such as Symbian Ana and Symbian Bell. Therefore, you may see a device being listed in many systems. Symbian is now progressing through a period of organizational change to metamorph into an open-source software platform project. As an OS, Symbian OS originally provided no user interface UI, the visual layer that runs atop an operating system. This was implemented separately. Examples of Symbian UIs are MOAP, Series 60, Series 80, Series 90 and UIQ. This separation of UI from underlying OS has created both flexibility and some confusion in the marketplace. The Nokia purchase of Symbian was brokered with the involvement of the other UI developers and all major user interface layers have been or have been pledged to be donated to the Open Source Foundation who will independently own the Symbian operating system. The new Symbian Foundation has announced its intent to unify different Symbian UIs into a single UI based on the S60 platform. Announcements made in March 2009 indicated this would be the S60 5th edition with Feature Pack 1. Topic: <laughs> Symbian Anna On 12 April 2011, Nokia announced Symbian Ana as a software update to the Symbian Cubed release. Three new devices 500, X7 and E6 were announced which will have Symbian Ana pre-installed. Symbian Ana will be available as a software update for Symbian Cubed-based devices as well. Most significant updates that come with Anna are Portrait QWERTY with split view data entry, New icon set, New Internet browser with an improved user interface, search integrated address field, faster navigation and page loading. Updated OV maps search public transport, download full country maps via WLAN or Nokia OV suite, check in to Facebook, Twitter and Foursquare. Java Runtime 2.2, Qt Mobility 1.1 and Qt 4.7 On 24 August 2011, Nokia announced Symbian Bell, later renamed Nokia Bell as a software update to the Symbian Ana release. 
three new devices 603, 700 and 701 Nokia 600 is cancelled and is replaced with Nokia 603 were announced which will have Symbian Bell pre-installed. Symbian Bell was available as a software update for Symbian ANA based devices as well. Most significant updates that came with Bell were Free form, differently sized, live widgets, More home screens, Improved status bar, Drop down menu. Modernized navigation New apps Informative lock screen NFC devices Visual multitasking Symbian Carla and Donna In November 2011, Nokia announced the Carla and Donna updates. Carla was expected to be released in late 2012 or early 2013 and feature a new web browser, new widgets, new NFC capabilities and Dolby surround audio enhancement. Donna was going to be a dual-core processor exclusive, and was planned to be released late 2013 or early 2014. In May 2012 a Nokia executive claimed that Carla and Donna were cancelled, and that Nokia would instead only release Bell Feature Pack 2 later in 2012, lacking many of the new features that were planned for Carla and Donna. Topic. Symbian ends In February 2011, Nokia announced a partnership with Microsoft to adopt Windows Phone 7 as Nokia's primary operating system, leaving further Symbian development in question. Nokia has promised support for Symbian and its newer devices until at least 2016, but no new Symbian devices will be released after Nokia 808 Pureview. On 29 April 2011, Nokia announced that it would transfer Symbian activities to Accenture along with 3,000 employees. Topic. See also Sailfish OS, the open-source Linux platform based on Migo from Yola, the company which was established by ex-Nokia employees. Android OS, a partly open-source mobile platform by Google Mamo, Nokia's Debian Linux-based platform MOAP, another Symbian-based platform Series 40, Nokia's non-Symbian-based platform for mass-market devices Series 80 Series 90 UIQ, another Symbian-based platform Web browser for S60